Hi everyone, it's Emma here. So as usually, with this part, I imagined everything, I played with correct reasonable movements, I applied harmony, dynamics, voicing, I intonated and I didn't actually intonate staccato here, just a regular legato. I made full phrasing with musical speech and finished with musical image and type. So all of this I showed step by step in the first parts of this tutorial. So now on to uh, some very useful highlights that helped me to overcome some challenges here, like uh, accuracy and speed in both hands, octave repetitions in the right hand, and of course uh, accuracy and speed in the final octave. And uh, again, towards the end, uh, I will play this whole part in different tempos to illustrate everything I'm going to talk about today. To improve accuracy with lips in both hands and reduce tension while playing, I suggest to focus clearly on fast elbow movements in both hands. In the left hand, when you go down, just like in the previous part I showed you, in the right hand with every step of the melody. So I should confess, guys, the score that you see on the screen I made before I started actually playing. So in the right hand, as you can see, the circles not on every note of the melody, but I'm too lazy to do it again. So basically I'm moving my elbow on every quaver. So, left, left, probably right, right, left, something like this. So not only as it's written on the score, but in every quaver in the right hand, I move my elbow. Um, and of course, elbow movements has to be, again, free and light as a very gentle light stroke without this tension you know because we can move elbow in different ways we can move just free and light but we can move with some tension so no tension um you know i took something like this um, if you pay attention to your thumb and basically by voicing uh, my thumb um, I would make the thumb feel more clearly just because imagination uh, will prepare the finger much much better so what I mean is that when I chose what to voice I didn't voice the pinky I was my thumb, and again, I didn't was my thumb on every 16 note, but as melody goes, so here and nothing here, here and nothing here. And uh, if you do this, <laughs> then somehow uh, you will see that uh, your hands will kind of bounce and play the second octave with no effort. So instead of when you voice just first note, then the, the, you see my hand kind of jumping, and second note plays like on the uh, back movement. Uh, it's something like this, so it helped me a lot. And another tip about those axioms um, is to use musical speech in repetitive octaves. So in this case, I intonate unison every time. Um, I'll show you in a second. It will help to control octaves better in fast tempos. And you wouldn't stuck like this. So when you're going to play, and if you try to play in fast tempo, maybe you notice that instead of playing this, you will start playing less prominent. So to avoid this you have to intonate unison. Meaning 
that. Elbow in the head. Pay a lot of attention to the second note of the melody. Um, and the same actually thing for the left hand. So we, we have this, but it's okay as long as you play in a moderate tempo. As long as you play faster, you can end up doing something like this. But the second 16 note is not prominent enough. So again, paying attention to the second, to the first basic interval between these first two notes as a unison will prepare your uh, fingers. Um, and so you will repeat the chord clearly in fast tempo. So I hope that's clear. In the final octaves, those country motions, um, to control fingers better and not playing in gibberish in fast tempo, I suggest to feel every small step in both hands with musical speech. So I emphasize both hands here because um, it's quite hard to feel simultaneously seconds in both hands, especially it goes up and it goes down, but that's the key to success here. So when I play, Right hand second, 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 left hand second, 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 second. And if I can do this in fast tempo, then I have no problem. I always play accurately. And here I should repeat it again and again and again. If you want to play fast, you need to imagine fast. You can't exercise speed just in your hands without exercising speed in your mind golden words. So in this case, if you want to control these octaves in fast tempo, you need to intonate them with musical speech in fast tempo. Okay, the next thing is uh, I would pay special attention to the last jump with fifth down. Um, I mean this one. something that you might be afraid to do, especially after playing the whole piece. Uh, so pay attention, you go from D to G. This is fifth down if we talk in, in musical speech terms. So I would feel it very clear with musical speech. And again, that would let my hands prepare uh, much faster and, and I never miss a note during the whole thing. So it will be always secure. Also, what helps to unlock octaves in fast tempo is very clear and fast elbow movements on the circle notes. Okay, basically on this A, on this D, A. Uh, so simply making these movements really is your playing and this is so funny because it's such a simple movement and yet uh, many students just struggle to make this quick <laughs> so here when i play octaves i just make sure to make very quick movement with my elbow and you hear of course too uh, also probably i should mention that i think it's obvious when you play octaves especially in chromatic scale <laughs> You don't want to play something like this. So you always try to play on this line over here, everything. Because that will increase speed, it's obvious. And lastly, um, of course, reducing tension in octaves will help the speed as well. So how to reduce, we all know the art of phrasing, the art of breathing. So feeling motives in this phrasing, bringing everything to the main interval over here. And this second will help hands then drop and release tension and then you start new one. Uh, 
Uh, so later I'm going to play, you will know it's just this. I'm not playing just like this, let me just show you. It's quite hard every time on the same level of energy. So what I do instead, I'm making little crescendo for every bar. This is less energy. I'm going to pay attention to three most important things. Phrasing, uh, moving my elbow on every uh, other note in my right hand with the melody, moving my elbow quickly, especially when I'm going down with my left hand, and every time I move elbow, next thing I know, I have to intonate this musical speech uh, unison very clear so phrasing quick elbow movement musical speech as unison on the right hand mm. and that's basically it so let's go with slow tempo Tutorial, then I see you. Okay, bye bye.